Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Operative Guide, this time hosted by yours truly, Razkhan. I am both a caster for Time Dive and a streamer on Twitch independent of that. In this video, we'll be covering the fastest operative in the loop, Rush. Quentin Anderson is a natural jokester. He's also a decorated soldier who leapt at the chance to test out the early versions of the Lemnis Kinetic Boosters. These were most likely manufactured at Lemnis Gate's R&D Center stationed on Stratos 4. Stratos 4 is an ocean planet with a huge number of weather stations dedicated to studying the world's weather phenomena. Quentin Anderson, aka Rush, is a quickster on the battlefield, made with the intent to capture objectives or kill other operatives quickly and efficiently. This leaves the opponent with fewer operatives to work with in the final loops. With his kinetic boost ability, he can reach places rapidly, almost like Toxin with her displacer. Let's first talk about his weapon of choice, the Dual Shredders. The Dual Shredders are best used up close and personal without aiming down the sights. You may find it easier to imagine Rush having twin shotguns instead of TMPs. These shredders do what they're designed to do. Shred any ounce of operative that comes through the enemy gate. Even though the shredders do a decent amount of damage to objectives, you'll have to be pushing up close to actually be able to get that off. This applies to both the accelerator in Domination and the resistors in Seek and Destroy. People have been very split in the decision to use Rush early or late in a loop. Going early, of course, lets you capture objectives quickly and without any problems, which lets you start the game off well. But unfortunately, it's also very easy to be taken out by the low health that Rush brings to the table. With just 80 health, death by rockets and mines, Capitan grenades, and the Vendetta shotgun will all one-shot Rush. The ability that, of course, Rush comes with is what everyone relies on and makes him a fun operative to play around with, his kinetic booster. Rush's Kinetic Boost ability, which he comes with endlessly, boosts his speed temporarily to make him traverse the map faster than most other operatives. He dashes in the direction that he is currently moving, forwards, backwards, or side to side. This makes you incredibly hard to hit. Rush is easy to learn from his simplicity, but mastering him will have to take a lot of skill to avoid getting demolished. The trick with Rush is to always keep him moving and avoid anything that can one-shot you. Your kinetic boost can help you reach your target location in a matter of a few seconds, especially if you use a slide jump or the slingshot maneuver covered in the first basic guides video. I'll put that on the screen for you now. Using the aforementioned slingshot maneuver, this helps you cover a massive amount of ground very fast and allows you to capture up to three XM in one turn. This could be on quarry, tectonic wells, or even iridium planes. Slam jumping onto a jump pad, then using Rush's booster on the way up, causes you to glide far further than any other movement in the game. Just be careful as Toxin can reach locations almost just as fast. If you're wanting to explore your abilities with Rush, I encourage testing him out on the training grounds and practice modes to see what he can do in all the different maps. If you feel like you need help knowing what to do on the maps, or just need good practice sessions with your operatives, Kaiser will be holding coaching sessions every Wednesday and Friday at 5.30pm CST every week after the game's release. Thank you all for watching this basic guide to Rush. This has been Razkhan. Hope to see you in the loop.